At VMworld, the hands-on lab team, consisting of just five technical staff members, used VMware IT's private cloud to fully automate the end-to-end -end application lifecycle of 32 multi-application lab environments. Eight people per minute were provided their customized learning environment on demand. 86,000 virtual machines were deployed in four days. Here's how they did it. The goal of the hands-on labs at VMworld is to expose our customers to new VMware products as they're getting announced at VMworld. The hands-on labs provides an easy way for customers to evaluate products through a portal interface that allows you to take a lab and learn about the product. The challenges of running the hands-on labs at VMworld is just the sheer size of the environment and scale of the project. There's 500 something people that can come into the hands-on labs every hour and we need to be able to provide the resources and the back-end cloud capacity in order to provide those lab experiences to the customer. The typical experience for a user taking a lab is that they'll sit down in front of a station. They'll be presented with a catalog of about 50 different labs that they can choose from. For the hands-on labs, we use VMware's internal private cloud called OneCloud. It's a pre-built, managed, and validated cloud system for hosting the hands-on labs. Because we're not spending time managing the infrastructure components and the hardware underneath the cloud, we have more time to spend developing content. So in the past few years, we've actually expanded our offering and we offer more labs with more content to our attendees. We have a number of labs that we'd like to spin up during the show. Last year, we were able to get approximately 10,000 labs delivered. The most important thing that we'd like to get out of the hands-on labs for VMworld is just to make sure that the customers that are going to VMworld can get the best experience and evaluate the products that they want to at the show. To do that, we built the hands-on labs on top of a vCloud suite. So we've got uh, vCenter, we've got ESXi, we've got uh, vCloud Director, and then we monitor the whole thing with vCenter Operations Management and Log Insight. During the show, the attendees were very impressed by the responsiveness. They could sit down in their seat and in under a minute get connected to the console of a lab and start doing their work. This year the labs were great. Um, I mostly concentrated on uh, things like vSAN, which were new, and um, for things that we weren't doing yet. Everything worked, there were plenty of people to help you, lots of experts on each separate lab were there. They actually had a number of the back-end machines there in a corner of the lab where you could see them. When a user finishes their lab and clicks the exit button, we can tear their lab down and reprovision it so that the next attendee can use those same resources for their lab. The benefit is that we can save resources by not way over provisioning for labs, we just provision for the labs that we need to handle during the show. Well, VMware has definitely made my job easier and um, that's not like a hard pitch or a hard thing to say. There's no one out there who's going to disagree with you. Find out how you can build and run a vSphere-based private cloud at vmware.com slash vcloud-suite.